The Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Gail Gordon. Do you have the mail? Well, I certainly have, right here. I've been waiting for it, you know. You're late, you're late. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Open this one, it looks important. Yes, sir. Better open that one, too. Why oh, you can't get here on time, I'll never know. Oh, I'm, I'm always sorry, on time. Mr. Mooney. I'm never late. Not me. Not that late, I'm Mr. here Mooney. right on the spot all the time. There's... Oh, I wonder... Wow! <laughs> wow, what? This letter's from Mr. Cheever. Oh, Mr. Cheever, huh? Oh, does he want to know how I'm handling things here while he's back east? No. No. No, listen to this. Dear Mooney, Monsieur Jacques Dupre will arrive in Los Angeles on Monday, and I have suggested that he visit you in your office. He's coming here. He's coming right here. His company is scheduled to produce pictures in Hollywood. I am most hopeful you can land the account yours truly, Mr. Cheever. What do you think of that? Well, I'm delighted to have the opportunity to accommodate him. <laughs> Are you a fan of his, too? As long as he is president of this bank, I will be a fan of Mr. Cheever. <laughs> I meant, are you a fan of Jacques Dupre? Who is Jacques Dupre? <laughs> Who is Jacques Dupre? Why, he's one of the most famous movie stars in France. Well, what, uh, when, when is this uh, movie star coming? He arrives on Monday. Monday. That's today. No. He might be here any minute. Oh, uh, yes, any minute. Uh, well, uh, well, pick up the letters. The place looks oh, like yes, a mess. Yes, For yes. heaven's sake, come on. Yes. Yes. All right, hurry up. Come in. Bonjour, 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 bonjour. Jacques Dupre. Down, Mrs. Carmichael, down. <laughs> Monsieur Mounet? Uh, oui. Je suis très enchanté de vous voir. <laughs> what did he say? I think it's French. Does he speak English? Well, of course I do. <laughs> oh, of course, so do I. Oh. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Uh, oh, uh, Mrs. Carmichael, my secretary. Hello. Oh, thank you. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm very happy to meet you. Oh, the pleasure is all mine. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I have two of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 won't you uh, sit down, Mr. Dupre? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Let go of it! <laughs> oh, uh, Mrs. Carmichael is such a big fan, she gets carried away. Oh, um, yeah. I am fluttered. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Chiba wrote me a letter and told me, Will you go and sit down? <laughs> Mr. Chiba told me you might be interested in the services of our bank. That's right. Well, wonderful. I can assure you that all of our facilities are at your command. Yeah. Hey, I'll handle this. <laughs> now, uh, what can I do for you? I have a few checks drawn on my bank in France, and I wonder if you would uh, cash them for me. Well, I'll take care of the matter immediately. Oh, yes, indeed. It'll be a pleasure. Uh, uh, Mrs. Carmichael. Yes, sir. Uh, perhaps uh, Mr. Dupre might uh, like to look at a magazine while I'm gone. Oh. Oh, I must say it's a great pleasure having you here in my office. Thank you, Mr. Mooney. <laughs> I was talking to him. Oh. Mr. Dupre, uh, I, I have a fan magazine here, and it has a picture of you in it. Would you give me your autograph, please? Oh, uh, I'd be delighted to. Here, here's a pen. Now, your name is uh, Mrs. Carmichael? Oh, would you make it out to Lucy? Oh, uh, well, uh, let's say, how about if I write, uh, 
warmest regards to Lucy. Fine. Uh, whose uh, irresistible charm and uh, intoxicating beauty incites the hearts of men to, to overflow with, with a romantic inclination. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's lovely. <laughs> Oh, uh, would you write it in French? I want to show it to my mother. Oh, uh, is your mother French? No, she's old-fashioned Irish. That's why you better write it. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, you know something? I saw you three times in Kisses at Dawn. Oh, uh, did you like the picture? Oh, yes, yes, I just loved it. But you know something? I was absolutely terrified at the scene where, where, where the lion tamer got sick and you had to take his place. Oh, yes, that was an exciting scene, huh? Was it a real lion? Of course. Weren't you scared? Uh, no, 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 because you see, uh, before the lion was brought into the cage, the director insisted on using tranquilizers. Tranquilizers? Oh, they doped the lion. No, me. <laughs> oh, oh, well, I still think they were crazy putting a big star like you in a, in a cage with a real lion. Oh, no, you see, because the lion tamer told me what to do. Well, what did he say? Yes, well, you see, I had a... Um, I had a whip. Uh-huh. And I had a chair. Oh. Now the idea is to confuse the lion. Oh, you really? See? Yes. Now you do that by yelling. Oh! Uh -huh. And by cracking the whip to distract him. Oh. Oh, yes, 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 I've now, seen him. Yeah. Yeah. Now when the lion raises his paw, uh -huh. he raises the chair to block up his vision. Oh. You see? Uh-huh. Yeah. Now, uh, uh, take your hand and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and pour at me. Oh, you mean make like a lion? Right. Oh. <laughs> yeah, go. <laughs> oh, Monsieur Dupre. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Please accept my apologies. Oh, I knew that one day this teenage senior citizen would flip. <laughs> no, no, monsieur, monsieur, it's not her fault. Huh? No, 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 no. I was just explaining to her how I once played the role of a lion tamer in a motion picture. You see? Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, here's your money, Mr. Oh, Dupre. Oh, thank you. Excuse me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, let's get down to business, shall we, Mr. Yes. Dupre? Uh, uh, Mr. Cheever tells me that your company is going to make a picture here in Hollywood. Uh, that's right. Well, our bank has had a lot of experience in that field. I'm sure you'd be more than satisfied with our services. I'd be quite interested. Wonderful. Then all we need from you is a formal letter of agreement, and we can close the deal right now. Fine, fine, but I must go back to my hotel right now. I'm expecting a few calls from Europe. Oh. Uh, but uh, perhaps you could send a secretary to my hotel and uh, I could uh, dictate the agreement. Yes, indeed. Of course I could. And I have just the girl for you. Oh, Mr. Mooney, you're a doll. <laughs> Not you. I could go over on my lunch hour. Now, Mrs. Carmichael, But, Mr. I'm... Mooney, it's my lunch hour. And I'm really a very fine secretary, Mr. Dupre. <laughs> well, uh, I'd be delighted to have Mrs. Carmichael. See? <laughs> well, uh, of course, anything you say, Mr. Dupre. Well, I hope it's not unfair to ask you to, uh, to come on your lunch hour and work at the hotel with me. It is my pleasure. Oh, you are so nice. <laughs> oh. You are so, so generous. I, uh, I, I don't know what to say. I just hope you won't be saying, Yankee, go home. <laughs> Mr. Dupre, yes. what hotel are you staying at? At the Plaza Royale. The Plaza Royale. I'll yes. be there at 12.30. Good. And while we are working, I will order some lunch. Oh, some lunch yes. with you? Oh, how wonderful. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Oh, Thank my you. pleasure, sir. I assure you. Thank you. Uh, au revoir, Darcy. <laughs> so long. <laughs> Hasn't this been...
Then a morning. Yes, and before it's completely shot, let's get to answering the mail, shall we? Well, can't we do it this afternoon? I have to get over to the hotel. You're not due there until 12.30. Well, I have to go home first. Why? Well, I don't want him to see me like this. <laughs> to your death. Uh, Mr. Mooney, I want to go home. <laughs> Change my mind. That's right. Uh, we've been in production in about ten days. Fine. Bye. I'm, uh, I'm sorry I'm a little late. Oh, no, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> oh. You look lovely. Oh, uh, thank you. I, uh, I like to be comfortable when I work, so I just ran home and tossed on this little old thing. Mm. <laughs> Very chic. <laughs> thank you. Please, uh, come in, sit down. Oh. <laughs> I will order some lunch. Oh, uh, are you sure you wouldn't rather get some work done first? No, I have a better idea. First, we're going to have some champagne. Champagne? Yeah. Well... <laughs> Chateau Bergerac. Oh. 1959. Uh, 59? Oh, that was a very good year. <laughs> uh, but what about our work? Oh, it will still be here. That's one thing about work. It never runs away. Touché. You speak French. Well, I do, don't I? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. My, my, I work for a lot of people, but I've never had a job that you drank champagne on. Well, a secretary as charming as you invites hospitality. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Good? <laughs> oh, it's delicious. Huh? <laughs> Gee, when I saw you in the movies, I never dreamed that I'd be sitting here with you, drinking champagne and <laughs> talking French. C'est la vie. Pardon? C'est la vie. <laughs> oh, um, uh, hinky dinky parley boo. <laughs> <laughs> that sure beats a coffee break. Well, I am glad that you are enjoying yourself. Here. Mercy. <laughs> you mean to say merci? No, I, I meant mercy. I know what this stuff can do to you. <laughs> Touché. Oh, thank you. That's the first time anyone ever touched me. <laughs> you know that you have a delightful sense of humor? Yes, I know. I would sort it. I would sort it. Mademoiselle from Armateur. <laughs> Good. That's very good. <laughs> oh, uh, 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 Monsieur Dupre, I don't think I better have any more champagne. We do have <clears throat> work to do. Oh. Uh, would you rather I dictate Mr. Mooney's letter uh, before we have lunch? Yes. Yes, I think so. I... I uh, believe I've wasted enough of your time. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> a fascinating woman is never a waste of time. <laughs> Me? Fascinating? <laughs> no, really, really, I, I find you very, very attractive. On the little bit you've had to drink? <laughs> Lucy. What? You know something? <laughs> what? You are such a delightful little pixie. Oh. <laughs> you know, you know what I like about you? What? <laughs> you sure know how to treat help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, and I do dig these crazy fringe benefits. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we, uh, we better get started uh, with our work. Oh, <clears throat> all right. All right. <laughs> Whatever you're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I'm ready. Uh, let's see, we stop, uh... Oh. I beg your pardon. Uh, let's see. Oh. Oh, my, I have really got... I got him. I've got the hiccups. Oh, I'm terribly embarrassed. Oh, but I, I know how to get rid of them. Uh, let's see, now, they said take 10, 15 swallows of, uh, of something and hold your nose. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> 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 there. That ought to do it. Where are you? Here, 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 here. Uh, yeah. oh. you, uh, you, you feel better? I feel fine. Good. All right, uh, let's get on with the dictation, huh? All righty. <laughs> All right, um, address uh, the letter to your boss. Uh, dear sir. Uh, the following, uh, no, the following is a letter by Grimley. Monsieur Dupre. Yes? Did you say, address this letter to my boss? Yes. What's his name? <laughs> Mr. Mooney. <laughs> That's right. That's right. The following. How can you remember that with all I've had to drink? <laughs> huh? All right. Uh, the following is a letter of agreement between the Dupre Production Company uh, and. Uh, I don't know what's the matter. I I can't believe this. <laughs> well, what is it? This has never happened before. <laughs> My ballpoint pen has never failed me before. You've got it upside down. <laughs> so I have. <laughs> Are you ready? For what? <laughs> um. <laughs> I think you better have some uh, black coffee. Black coffee? Yeah, it will make you feel better. I am perfectly all right. I assure you I'm doing my job. I am a very competent secretary. <laughs> Yeah, of course, of course you are, but uh, if you are going to try to, to take dictation, I think better you should have some uh, black coffee. I don't need any black coffee. I'll be all right if you'll just hold the room still. <laughs> Darling, Jezubu Mayboku, can I say what to do? <laughs> you know what? I've never been on such a big boat before. Boat? Yeah, what time do you sail? Sail? You know, the last time I saw somebody off, I wound up in Catalina. <laughs> I better get off here before they pull up the gangplank. <laughs> Oh, 
Goku, je ne sais pas Scooby-Doo. <rire> I didn't expect you back so soon. Well, that's the jet age for you. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, tell me, did you get my letter regarding Monsieur Dupre? Oh, yes, yes, I did. And he was in my office this morning. Well, I hope you made a good impression upon him. This could be the biggest deal of the year. Oh, yes, I, I think I did, sir. As a matter of fact, my secretary is over at his hotel right now getting a letter of agreement. And when she gets back with that letter, the deal is in the bag. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> good boy. I knew I could count on you. Oh, thank you, sir. How about a cigar? I'm a... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael. Oh, hi, Mr. Mooney. Mr. Cheever. Hi, Bank. Hi, world. I think she's high. <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael? Yes? I trust you kept your appointment with Mr. Dupre? I sure did. <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael, yes? you have been drinking. No. <laughs> Only a little champagne. It was 1959. And it was a very good year. <laughs> Mooney, and she has caused any embarrassment with Monsieur Dupre, I am going to hold you responsible. Uh, 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 uh. Monsieur Dupre said that I was very charming company. Well, never mind that. Just give me the letter. Hmm? <laughs> give me the letter. What letter? What letter? I sent you back. I sent you to get a letter of agreement. Oh, that letter. <laughs> I didn't get it. <sighs> A fine way to lose an important client. Mooney, we'll discuss this in my office at once. I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> now you see what you've done. Well, you didn't give me a chance to explain. The only thing I will give you is a little pink slip to go with your little pink eyes. What do you mean for that? You are a fire! Oh, Mr. Mooney! Now you start cleaning out your desk. And by the time I get back, you had better be gone! <laughs> when I get back, you had better be gone! I'll be gone, all right. We should have gotten out of here a long time ago. You have to ask me twice. I can get along without you, you know. I'll collect my unemployment insurance. <laughs> Be the first time I got a raise in two years. <laughs> oh, Mr. Dupre. I was uh, worried about you after you jumped ship. <laughs> oh. Yes, we have a little uh, unfinished business, haven't we? Oh. Yes. <laughs> Here's the letter. Oh, that letter. <laughs> Great thing I've ever come across in my life. Think of slaving my fingers to the bone. And another thing, do not expect a letter of reference. No, uh, Just pack up and go. Oh. Up and go. <laughs> Mr. Dupre. Oh, Mr. Dupre. <laughs> I dropped in to give Mrs. Carmichael uh, the letter of agreement. Uh, oh, the letter. Yeah. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> well, uh, Monsieur Dupre, I am delighted. Uh, sir, how would you like to have lunch with Mr. Mooney and me? Well, I'm sorry, gentlemen, but I already have an engagement lunch with uh, Mrs. Carmichael. Mrs. <laughs> Carmichael? Oh. <laughs> but remember, no more champagne. Oh, of course not. You've had too much already. <laughs> While I'm gone, would you tidy up my desk? You heard her tidy up her desk! Darling, Jabu Zamboku. 
Jim, this day, Bosco, be doing. <laughs>